morning guys and welcome back to a new M Weekly. I just want to say thank you so 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 much. My M Weekly that went live, I want to say two weeks ago, the comments were so nice. You guys were just enjoying it and being so lovely, so thank you. So yes, I look very tired. I've just been to a personal training session. It's very good, but I'm very tired. That was my third day of exercise in a row, which doesn't sound like much, but... I am tired, I've been putting in those those reps. So yeah, I've got nothing on my face at all apart from James Reed H2O drops. Today's the last day to use a discount code. If you guys saw my other video and you wanna use it, I'll leave that below. Get some discount if you wanna use them. Look at my skin, it's so good. So my, basically this week is gonna be a nice week at home so you guys can come along with me. Me and my mom are heading to York today. Just have a nice little day together because I'm doing some work with National Express and it means I get to stay with my mum and we're gonna go to Betty's and just have a lovely day. So before we do that, I thought it would be nice to show you a bit of my morning routine because a lot of you guys have commented and asked about my skincare and stuff. Um, I'll leave a link to my blog below because I have done blog posts about like all my favorite serums, all my favorite cleansers in depth, that's my emails. But I know that some people prefer visual things so you can watch and we will get ready. I just got out of the shower. So let's do this. Let's have just like a quick little get ready with me. So welcome to my bathroom. If you can hear like choo, 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 it's because there's a decorator downstairs. We are just having all this stuff done. So quickly, because I have a full blog post about this that explains better. Cleansers, I am not loyal to my cleansers. I have a lot that I love and that I use. Um, so here are some of my current faves, the ones that are genuinely in my bathroom that I'm using. Falorga foam cleanser, really good, almost finished. It's got hyaluronic acid in it and I've actually been using this like on mornings or Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, absolutely insane. Melts off your makeup, oh yeah, that's the right way around. Melts off your makeup and also gets rid of eye makeup too. So very good because it just like nourishes the skin. Sanaflor, I can't even pronounce it, Asiana Botanica, this is just full of goodness, natural stuff, all the good stuff, and it just gets rid of everything. Being to their farm, their products are amazing and really affordable. Din, din, din. I recently got this, which I am way too excited about. Yes to Coconut Ultra Hydrating Energizing Coffee 2 in 1 Scrub. Oh my god, I wish you guys could smell through the screen because that smells like heaven. It's like an instant wake up call. I kind of want to scrub my whole body with it. Fresh Soy Cleanser. This is a special 200ml big one. My mum is obsessed with this. She wasn't in skincare. Now she loves Cordily and now she loves this as well. It's just amazing. It's really gentle. It tones. It soothes. You can do your face and your eyes and it doesn't get rid of like your natural kind of oils. So it's very, very good. They are just the things that are like currently there. On an evening, I've got my Declio by face caring cleanser and makeup removing 99% natural floral water. I do this as like a first step, right? I don't want this vlog to be like 18,000 minutes long because it's just me rambling about skincare. But guys, you asked for it. Just skip this part if you don't want it, right? So this one is the Falaga cleanser. I look like Santa. <laughs> And then, as I say, I use a lot of different products. I do mix and match. I don't know anyone that just uses one skincare brand. I like a lot of skincare brands. They're all good for different reasons. Oh, Aqua Magnifica by Santa Flor. It's to get rid of impurities, literally just splash it on my face. Now, my thing about serums is I'm mainly a nighttime serum kind of gal. So I've got lots and lots of nighttime serums. Again, I've got a full blog post about this. So you've got this by L'Occitane, which is possibly my favourite serum ever right now, Luna Sleeping Well by Sunday Riley. I pop my James Reed H2O tan drops on on an evening and sometimes on a morning as well and then pop my makeup over for this glow with nothing underneath. Sarah Chapman Skin Assist, Elemis Peptide for Night Cream. Again, they are all night products in the day. I'm not too fussed, so usually these are the things I'm using this week. She says this week because these are just like, I just love skincare, sorry guys. Um, so this has pretty much run out. This is by Guerlain Daily Repair Serum. This is Clarins Double Serum Hydric and Lip, Lip Edic System Age Control Concentrate. Now I know that people are like, oh, why should I start the anti-aging progress process now? But apparently you're meant to start and stop it in its tracks. Not that you can stop it, but you know what I mean. Paula's Choice Reset Brightening Essence. This is good to add into moisturizers. Olay Day Cream, Can't Beat Some Olay, and Neutrogena Hydro Boost. So these are just like, I just mix stuff. So I'll be like, ooh, I will use some Clarins Serum with a few drops of Paula's Choice for some hydration and some brightening. Just depends what mood 
I am in, but they're the ones that are kind of like there for me at the moment. The eyes at the moment, I am using Elements Peptide for recovery cream. Also, Olay do an amazing eye cream, but I don't know where it's gone. Fresh do the best lip balms. Mm. Fresh sugar chocolate. Oh, they do a coconut one as well, which I need to get my hands on. Today, makeup wise, I'm going to use Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is great primer because it's SPF 45, meaning it's going to just help from any like pollutants or. I'm going to use an hourglass concealer because I just always have under eye bags. I burn the candle at both ends. Leave a comment if you do that, it's really bad. Foundation Beauty Derma Blend. I'm going to mix it with a bit of Decorte. I wouldn't order, ordinarily mix the two, but I absolutely love this. I wore it in Greece, and oh my god, it's a soft lifting tint. It gives my skin the most amazing look. But because I am taking pictures, this is good for pictures. Also, my Beauty is the wrong shade, so I can't really use it by itself, and it makes me look really pale because I got nude rather than sand, and my shade in Beauty Derma Blend is sand. My trusty matte powder has run out and over the years I have used far too many of these so I'm not going to restock it because I've got loads of other powders so I'm going to start using these instead. Hourglass Veil which I always use. I like the matte one because it has a colour. I don't really like translucent powders. Like I want, I want a colour because it works then if I've got like a foundation that's the wrong colour. And then my phone rang halfway through. Can you guys hear that? It's like there's a party going on downstairs. I'm not gonna dance. That will make you all immediately click unsubscribe. You here, she's using Guerlain Terracotta. You know what, I've got loads of new makeup down here and I'm actually gonna start using it. Blush, this is Rimmel Maxi Blush. Look at that color, that is so nice. Those are by Ragdoll Nails, look at them. I am so in love with If you're in Leeds, go to Ragdoll Nettles. She's amazing. I'm gonna use Armani for the eyes. Climax Mascara. Let's see how this is. Thoughts? In a baldy bar. How juicy my lips are, that's starting to fresh. In with Estee Lauder Bronze Leaf 102. So now you've seen that, I'm gonna do my hair really, really quickly. So I do not wash my hair every day. I'm very jealous if you do wash your hair every day. I was actually told not to wash my hair every day because apparently washing your hair every day gets rid of natural oils. I'm not sure if that's true or not. So we've obviously been to the gym and we've got this annoying strand that just looks a bit disgusting. So I'm gonna do my old trick. I am going to keep the volume because I want my hair, well I'm going to the gym again tomorrow so there's just absolutely no point in me washing my hair right. I plan my hair days around the gym, I don't know if anyone else does that, so I'm going to use my trusty dry shampoo. So I'm going to wash my hair but I'm going to wash it with this. It's a dry shampoo for hair that's flat, thin or fine, it just needs a boost of volume. My hair can always do with volume, even though I have naturally thick hair it can go quite flat. Even though it's curly, I don't know what is wrong with it at the moment, it just drops really really flat hairdressers always say it's fine but there's a lot of it this is amazing because it refreshes and revives the hair but it actually removes the oil so it's technically washing your hair which is great for people like me that are always at the gym and just don't always have the time to make my hair look good and i am very very excited it's also invisible well, let's sort my hair out so first let me tell you a bit of background about myself and Bastiste. I first discovered the original Bastiste when I was going to Leeds Festival. I've been going since I was in like year seven in school, which is, how old was I? How old are you in year seven? I don't know, I forget the ages. Your first year of high school. That's my laptop playing my video in the background, oh hey um, um, And I remember picking it up in Tesco in the supermarket and I was like, amazing. And then ever since I've been buying it for festivals. And it was like a really cool thing just to take to festivals back then. You'd be like, yay, I don't, I can't wash my hair. But now it's like very acceptable. All my friends, all of us were like, yeah, didn't wash my hair today using dry shampoo and now everyone uses it. And I feel so brand loyal to Batiste and I'm excited to use this new one. The reason I also like them is because I like how much blonder it makes my hair. So this is meant to revitalize the hair and it will be left clean, bouncy and full of life for maximum oomph spray onto your roots and back comb. 
I'm not gonna back home just because I feel like my hair's quite big anyway, but let's go. I've also been using this, this is literally next to it. These are like three things just there on my windowsill that I always use, my James Reed Coconut Mist. My Batiste Speed Up Frizz Taming Blow Dry Accelerator that you put on when you actually wash your hair. Zhuzh, yes. Oh my God, you don't even need to back comb. The volume, that is so good. Oh my God, my hair just looks so clean now. I'm just gonna add a bit more underneath. Oh my god, I am so impressed. My hair looks so visibly cleaner. Also, this smells really good. It's not like over fragrance. It smells really fresh. It feels so lightweight on my hair and it is invisible. It's funny though, because when I was at school, me and my friends actually liked the fact that it made your roots look a lot better. This still makes my roots look better and makes you look clean, but it doesn't leave anything. It's just added that volume. I just don't like having flat hair, but this is amazing. This is gonna revolutionize my, I mean, I'm never gonna wash my hair now, guys, but look, my hair just looks so much better. I did get my hair cut at Sassoon last week, actually, and it is quite a bit shorter and bouncier, but it's nice and healthy. And this has just added so much volume, a nice instant hair refresh and now I can just go out and get on with my day. So I'm gonna quickly try on some stuff because obviously in True Me style, I did some online orders over the weekend. Very excited to show you a few of the things that came. So let me quickly show you some of those things before I head out. That is looking fresh, thanks to this baby. So a few little things that I have got. This dress, which my mum approves of. I think it's really nice because it's figure hugging. I got the smallest size and even though I'm only around five foot two, I actually think it's fine. I, it's just really nice ribbed figure hugging and actually it looks quite nice undone as well. I don't know, like a afternoon tea slash meetings, maybe with it fastened up slash nice event. And I just think it's nice because it's figure hugging. So I managed to find the green dress in white on ASOS, completely sold out. Went onto the website and noticed that it was like, yeah, one in size small, so I ordered it. And now it's completely sold out and ASOS stuff doesn't tend to come back in stock. Um, but oh my god, how nice is this? I don't know actually. I don't know if the green one looks nice on me, maybe I'll just keep them both. Then my little top that I love. I saw that they do this in black now, which is good. With these trousers, so I got these trousers. They're actually really affordable and they're just really nice. Love the color, love how comfortable they are. I'm all about that comfortable fit. I'm wearing them with heels, but they're not actually too long. Next, I couldn't resist this. If you guys have me on Twitter, it's just X. You'll know that I tweeted about this and said how much I wanted it. It's actually really nice. You guys probably know by now I have a little bit of an obsession with jumpsuits and this is just a nice easy to wear jumpsuit. Not too like figure hugging but still hugging in the right way but still room for cake and all that jazz. And this is a public service announcement to say that these trousers came back in stock. Love them or hate them. I think you guys actually love them because I have had at least 30 messages from people saying that you've bought them. But yeah, I totally understand that to some people they might not be your style. They might be like pyjamas, whatever. For the granddads out there, my granddad does not approve of them. I think they're comfy and easy to wear. So that is what matters. What matters is that you guys are happy with your purchases. But yeah, I like them. So public service announcement, they're back in stock if you wanted them. So with my fresh hair, I'm ready to head to York now. I'm wearing this for now, but I am taking pictures there. So I have a bag with a few other outfits, you know, it's transparent, hair is looking fresh. So we're just gonna head off to York now. So look at my mum's bag, it was a twirl. My mum has got this Aspinall bag. It looks so nice. So I just wanted to show you guys as we're walking. It honestly looks amazing. My Gucci Gucci, mum's got the Aspinall. Made a friend, hello. Is it a duck? Or is it a geese? It's a goose. Goose, goose, goose. Quick little top change. We are just at my favorite Betty's. Treating my mom to a Betty's.
Guys, the question is, do you do jam or cream first? I say cream, my mum says jam. Bang. Okay, I am just buying Matt a little present, because I always do. Which, which, fla which flavour? Milk chocolate. And I'll get him a little chocolate mouse. Mmm, this is milk chocolate. So we just ate lots of food. I am very full on Betty's, but very nicely full, so we're just having a little wonder now. back into what I came in now um, it's because my mum and I are taking some pictures whilst I'm in York and every time we were taking pictures down the street look how gorgeous it is I don't know how I've never been on the street before um, people kept coming so half of York has seen my nipples but you know what we got there and I think I should be one of those people that gets changed into loads of outfits I can do it in the middle of the street my mum has been an epic epic support dream work the teamwork makes a dream work and I got some goodies I'm home now after a really lovely little date with my mama capturing content eating food all the happy belly feels I just got another parcel yeah I am um, actually ordered two other things from PLT so I'm just gonna quickly show you them before I head off and actually do a lot of work on my laptop So I couldn't resist these trousers, they are a little bit baggy on me but to be fair if I wear them with heels they'll probably be fine or maybe just shrink them in the wash or fold them over a little bit, that's what happens when you've got short legs but they're really nice, I absolutely love the print of them and I ordered a bralette, nice little bralette, I think this is really nice, these bralettes are so cheap and they do them in like every colour, actually really good quality as well, just thought it's nice for like date night or just like this to spruce up trousers even with like white trousers i think this would look really nice last but certainly not least i got this leopard print number because leopard print is in right now little crossover plunge front leopard print dress i actually really love leopard print so we'll see how i feel about this it's very plungy <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna sit and do lots of work now, so I will speak to you guys in the morning. I'm gonna edit my pictures from today, do some emails, and play catch up. Morning, guys. So, I didn't vlog yesterday because I had a full day of doing lots and lots and lots of work. We then headed for dinner to a place called Sukhot Thai, which they have a few of them. They've got one in Leeds, one in Harrogate, another one in Leeds, I wanna say. So we just popped there for a family meal, so I'll show you that now. I just didn't vlog all day yesterday because it was like one of those no makeup, just get stuff done kind of days. So I'm just heading to the hairdressers now to get my hair done. I'm gonna pop some makeup on in the car because I am running late So I've been doing emails and writing blog posts, wearing this jumper, just some leggings, um, and then loads of, loads more clothes came, which is ridiculous because I recognize I bought a lot of clothes, but I'm going to Barcelona. I'm gonna whack some makeup on in the car and then go and get my hair done at Sassin. I know I got it done last week, but I got it cut and I didn't get it coloured. And can we talk about how nice it stayed? So I went to the gym yesterday as well. No grease. Baptiste, you are amazing. People viewing. So I got my hair done. I got to done by Louise at Sassoon. I've been going to Louise for oh my gosh over two years now. My mum also gets her hair done there. Look how nice the colour is. I actually haven't had a full head for like over 20 weeks. She had a bit loads of growth. She was like, What have you been doing differently to your hair? Keep doing it. 
so that makes me happy. Obviously I had my cut last week, um, I just couldn't book in for them on the same day, which is not very effective, and a blow dry by Tatty. So now I'm just with my mum and we're just at Le Pan having some lunch. Just in Le Pan with my mum. They actually have one in Leeds and we're in Leeds this week, which never really happens. And Le Pan got in touch with me and they were like, do you want to head down to Le Pan and have some food? And we were like, oh my god, yes. So it just so happened that we we're in Leeds today. Um, they have Le Pans everywhere. I actually go to the one in New York with Matt. Me and Matt always end up getting to Le Pans. The one in London a lot, they've got like communal tables and stuff and they're really good to work in. Top tip if you're in London, you need somewhere to work, go to Le Pan. And they do the best dippy eggs. And they do toast and you can like spread this chocolate stuff on. It's like chocolate Nutella but white chocolate. No, they've got it on that table there. I'll zoom in so you guys can see. It's like a white chocolate Nutella that you can spread on your toast. So, we're gonna eat and have some food. Guys, look, here we go, here we go, here it is. This is a big pot of chocolate sauce. White chocolate. Yum. I always get matcha lattes, but when you're getting a matcha latte, ask them if there's sugar in it. So a lot of places add loads of sugar in it, but it She's going for it. She's going for her prey. <laughs> She's got it. <laughs> is this a chocolate one? Yeah, so this one. Right, right, look. Wait, you can buy it. Just have a bit on your spoon. Wait, 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 look. It's blondie. That is a white chocolate spread. Oh my, it's amazing. Look at it. <gasps> Looks like mayonnaise, but it's actually chocolate. Are oh, you having some? Why not? Oh, this is where this is where I get it from, guys. It's so good. You like it? I love it. Curry and Yum. So mum got coconut curry. And mango chutney. Oh, with mango chutney. We love mango chutney. Although I like it with so many poppadoms, <laughs> like ten. Oh wow, I thought it might be a creamy curry, but it's actually just like, I got the vegan chili, oh my goodness, how amazing does this look? And they got me some quinoa on the side, yummy. <laughs> We're just very full now. The food was absolutely amazing. So full and happy. We're just gonna pop into anthropology, which is just opposite, because we love a quick anthropology shop. Then I actually need to do some work. Oh, they don't. They're all the moment. Oh, no. <laughs> but the salve dish. That's cute, yeah. with a little. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh. I want to go in there. Oh, they don't sell it? That they was amazing. They do, but you have to make it yourself, because that's their own. Oh. Um, these are cute. You know, Matt, Matt's mum bought me the. Um, she bought she me did, the yes. bottle opener, yeah. but I prefer them in that colour. Mm, I don't know for the. Uh, no, the I table. like them in the green. Oh and my god! And have you seen they've got placemats that match? How cute! Yeah, I always say that to people with anthropology because it always goes into the cell. Oh no, I like this one. Look at that. This is a lemon bottle opener. How cool is that? Love these mugs. And these little plates. The one in Chelsea Market in New York is my favourite. I always put these glasses on my Christmas list. So pretty. Mum really wants one of these, but she can't actually get the plant inside because they don't sell the plant. They are cool. I like the one with the cactus inside it. Oh no, it kind of looks like spiders. Kind of like spiders. Okay, this makes me really excited. Earl of East is stocked in anthropology and I went and did a candle making workshop with Costa and met the founders. Guys, that is awesome. Look how nice this is and the cups. And I absolutely love this cushion. So me and Matt are definitely getting all of the doggy plates when we get our house. How amazing. And like the little cats and then Keith on a plate. I would definitely do my own gardening if I had a rose gold, what's it called, a watering can? <laughs> also, this is absolute plant gold. That's really nice. Oh, look, look at these mugs. I don't, I don't really know what they're for. 
I really like it. Look how nice this is with the pom poms. Oh wow. I love this little chair. Oh look, there's a nice little table. I'm back now so I'm just gonna sit and do some work thought it would be quite cool to show you guys around my office I feel like we don't really speak about work it's kind of like we show the good parts of the day or we show like the events that we don't show like the stress of getting there or even talk about the cost of getting there. um but yeah it's funny we, we just don't really talk about like the actual work side because it's not fun for you guys to see me taking blog pictures or to see me filming videos or writing blog posts but if you guys are interested in the work side I've done a few blog posts all about like how to increase your search engine optimization and tips as a freelancer you guys might not be bloggers you might want to be bloggers or you might just work for yourself or run your own business if you do or you want to let me know because I'll leave the links to those posts below but yeah I've also been doing quite a lot of panel talks recently I did a talk for a brand recently that was really exciting I didn't film it but it was all about like social media and I love doing stuff like that so yeah I just thought it'd be nice to show you around my little office so this is just my office at home that I work alongside my mum in at the moment, um, but as I say, like usually you'll find me working in a Pratt. Like this morning I worked in a Pratt or working remotely somewhere. Totally depends, no two days are the same in my job. So one day I could be in London doing something, the next day I could be in Leeds doing something. The next I could be in a field taking pictures of me, taking pictures of someone else. One of the things I always say as well is that I'm so grateful that like, for example, I took my mum to Betty's the other day and that I could like afford to take my mum to Betty's and treat her my biggest thing is that like I can treat my family and stuff and it's just really nice and really special so lunch was really good today as well so yeah I'm gonna show you around my office so I need to put this in my loft we've got two studio lights it's remote working so you can pop your laptop up anywhere and then my little quote Betty's for Matt this is a screen so you can pop your laptop here and then the screen works with a little mouse Yorkshire lass, this is my mum's laptop because my mum works with me and helps me with lots of stuff, bless her. And then these are like some of the awards. Winner, Project 13, the Digital Influencer Awards, Travel and Lifestyle, and um, the Sir Peter Thompson Enterprise Award. My brother and I won this for a business that we have. And then Business Plan Awards, 2014 Second Prize Trading. We also won this, which is exciting. Little plant, plant, garden. She's got cute stuff like this. I mean... When I get my actual house sorted, I want like loads of prints and stuff up, but I quite like having just a neutral office. We use this to shoot our jewellery in, printer, and then all of these cupboards are rammed. Uh, yeah, obviously, another light which needs to go upstairs. This is like my parcels that have arrived, which I need to sort through and organise, and then they go into cupboards. So you've got like a review cupboard. You've got my homeware cupboard. This is full of stuff that I don't even want to show you guys. It's embarrassing how much stuff I'm storing up. Stuff to go in my house once I get my house sorted. This is kind of like storage for my house. Um, and then you've got like my technology cupboards. So you've got like all of my lenses and my drones and my tripods. This is the best tripod ever. Done. Manfrotto, such a good tripod. So yeah, we've got like two tripods, we've got like two microphones, mini tripods, drones, remote controls, GoPros, camera, camera, um, more cameras, lenses, chargers, all of that kind of stuff. Yep, more cameras. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit and catch up with some work. I desperately need to do some emails. While I'm in here, I'm just gonna quickly show you some recent parcels that have come as well. Oh my God, all my dreams have been answered. The nap pillow. What is this? Mini pillow for sleep on the go. Oh my goodness. Can we talk about these gorgeous watermelon shades from Sally Hansen? Amazing gels, love that. With a fan. Oh wow, this is my moisture. Range looks amazing, colour protection and sea minerals for colour treated hair. I bet it smells really good as well. Made with natural ingredients and aloe vera juice. Oh look at this little drinking bottle. So, 
Udo's Choice, which I have been using for a long time, but I just haven't used it for a while because I ran out. <laughs> so this is the Ultimate Oil Blend, Cold Extracted Blend of Seed Oil Capsules, has polyunsaturated omega-3 and 6 essential fatty acids. It's basically just got loads of goodness, flax, sesame, sunflower seeds, oils, and evening primrose, everything basically, fish-free and gluten-free, and I don't really eat that much fish. I'm a bit weird with my fish. I like seafood, so it's really good to pop into your food. This one is Microbiotics, which is like gut-friendly bacteria. Amazing, 31 billion cells, how? Digestive enzymes, so seven plant-based digestive enzymes. And then these, which I used to put in all my smoothies. Look how much goodness is in there. I'm happy to have some Udo's back into my life. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Look, din, din, din. Oh my goodness, so I've been using Simple Micellar Wipes forever. It's basically all the best simple things, but with little mixed packaging. We all know that I love simple sheet masks. We need to talk about Bobbi Brown's nude palettes. I think this might be my favourite palette yet. Oh my goodness. These are just so stunning. Look at pink copper. As you guys know, I adore Molten Brown, and they are now launching 100ml versions of their iconic fragrances. Oh my goodness, Origins, my favourite. So they're energy boosting, on the go, refreshing eye cream to brighten and deep puff. I've used the small ginseng before in the little pot, but I've never used this one. This is then you like on the go stuff. And then a hydrating, prettifying finisher. That sounds amazing. With a matching little wallet, which is just a dream and a reusable cup. I feel outrageously spoiled. Thank you, Origins this out and you'd apply it in the morning kind of like a primer I would say and it's tinted and it will just hydrate your skin and oh I'm so excited to use this okay wow I feel outrageously spoiled I'm sure a lot of you if you've been here for a while know that I really like the body shop face masks this is a new instant soothing mask infused with prebiotics it's like porridge like blend of oatmeal from the UK and it's a skin loving formula for dry sensitive skin and it will get rid of tightness so I can't wait to use that particularly in winter came with some posh porridge this little mask how cute is that and then everything else is really soothing and calming this is the nicest range ever, almond milk and honey, almond milk and honey body yogurt, yes, 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 soothing day cream, I've never tried Rude Health and I've always wanted to, so this is too exciting for me. It's me again! Okay, so I got a delivery, my Topshop delivery finally came, I'm finished in my office now, but then I'm going to go back and work after. Look, the dress came, the zip doesn't work, how annoying, I'm going to have to send this back and get a new one, but I actually really like the dress, so I'm going to quickly show you it. Blaming Josie for this. Josie is the one that made me do it because she has a python print one. So I wanted the dotty one. It's just a really nice classy dress. Perfect for like day to night. I know I always say that but I think it's really nice for day to night. Love the colour. Would look good with sandals or heels or boots in autumn. Great for transitional. Right guys, gonna go finish my work now. So I will see you in the morning. Hello guys, happy Saturday. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't vlog the yesterday, I think. Yeah, I didn't vlog yesterday. Or did I go on Thursday? Did I go on the day before? Oh my god, I didn't vlog the last two days because it's just been manic working, working, working. Because when this vlog goes live, I'll be in Barcelona and I need to do my work so I can go to Barcelona and enjoy. So my mum and I went to Home Sense and someone just tweeted me, Nadine, and she was like, are you gonna do a Home Sense vlog? Um, I didn't vlog my trip, I'll do one next time I go. So I thought I'd show you a few things I got. I got these cushions, look how nice they look on my bed. I wish I got more and then I'll quickly go and show you what else I got. Uh, I got this, how nice is this teapot? And then I got these to go with it. I actually really, really desperately wanted to get a chair. There were like three chairs I wanted, but as my house isn't sorted, yeah, I'm holding on until we figure out what's going on because I don't really want to store any more stuff at my family home. My room now, look at this throw that I got. Oh my goodness. How amazing is that, Matt? Are you going to love this in our house? You've got to admit this is a good throw. It's nice. We've got about four throws already. No, you can have five um, with like these little tassels. And then downstairs, let me quickly show you what I treated my mum to. My mum really wants to do a new tray. Look how nice this one is. And it was only like 12 99 How cute is that? And it kind of looked a bit like, not tacky, but when it was with everything else in the store. And then when we have it by itself, oh my God, it's so nice. Let me just show you some stuff in my actual office that's come whilst I'm showing you that because it's a Saturday and it's been a busy week. So Holland and Barrett have absolutely made my day. 
My mum and I absolutely love Manuka Doctor Honey. It's definitely the best honey ever, ever, ever. And we just ran out. This is amazing. But I didn't realise there are other brands of Manuka Honey. Manuka Honey is basically like the best top graded honey from New Zealand. Um, this one is by Manuka Farm. And these are all sold at Holland and Barrett. This one is by Pure Gold, Premium Select Manuka Honey and Manuka Lab Manuka Honey pure gold and it tells you why they're all so good and they're all from Holland and Barrett which is just amazing I had no idea you could get this from Holland and Barrett dream come true thank you so much so Kiko have brought out their new dark treasure collection firstly charcoal micellar cleansing pads you are a bit of me but also look how nice this color of eyeshadow is any of you who have followed me for a long, long, long time, you'll probably remember that I went to New York with Clarisonic to meet the founder, who is a total babe, by the way. So the Clarisonic cleanser is amazing. And this is the Clarisonic first ever Sonic foundation brush. Yeah, it's got a foundation brush. So the way that it works is that it's a micro blending makeup brush that transforms your Clarisonic cleanser into a makeup applicator. So you cleanse your face and then you blend your foundation. How cool is that? September is the month of sleep and Neom are all about getting a good night's sleep. Look at this tranquility candle and it's rose gold. This looks so good. They actually have a store in Leeds, which is amazing. And then their perfect night's sleep face oil, which I can vouch for is epic. Dun, dun, dun. I will use this this week and let you know how I get on. This excites me a lot. So I discovered Dr. Jackson's recently and was pretty blown away by their tea. Went on their website and saw that they also do detox tea. Now the word detox, I know it's very controversial, but this is basically just a blend of purifying ingredients and it's meant to help naturally aid digestion. It's caffeine free, it's subtly sweet and purifying. We are up to date, but yeah, if I'd have vlogged the last two days, this vlog would have been about two hours long because I kind of over vlogged on day one of this vlog. So I will make Matt come back to Home Sense with me really soon and I will do a proper Home Sense vlog because I know you guys like those. Wearing this new jumper because it's really, really cold in the UK right now. We went to the gym this morning. I actually got a really bad headache. These trousers, which I know so many of you bought, my mum absolutely loves them. She bought them too. They're back in stock. They're only £20. I also got some leopard print ones, so I'll quickly try these on now and show you guys them. So here they are in leopard print. They're actually really nice in leopard print, aren't they? Um, they're very comfy. Wowie, I love them. So, I'm sorry I just have been a bit crap this week. I've got a banging headache. And it's just been one of those weeks where, because I want to have a holiday in Barcelona, but I will be vlogging it, obviously. Um, I just want to get on top of, like, all of my blog content and all of that kind of stuff. And get all of my emails done and PT training and stuff done so that I can enjoy Barcelona and actually have a day off. Because I feel, like, a little bit burnt out, in all honesty. And I just feel like... I really could do with a few days off. <laughs> um, we're just gonna head to Howard House today, which is just like a really nice little park, kind of, kind of close, and um, just to have a nice date day, so you guys can come along with us. Snack time. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so cute! Oh, look at it! <laughs> Fine Yorkshire ice cream. Just checking up on those important football scores. We'll be on a Saturday. <laughs> we should have got to it. I don't try to like. You have enough money, you don't have enough cash, you <laughs> bet. Right. Morrisons. I used to work in Morrisons. I used to work in All Saints and Morrisons. 
if you guys aren't from the UK you'll be like what is that so All Saints is like the kind of mid-range luxury clothing store where we actually met comment if you'd like a how we met video because it wasn't that simple we actually I got mad at the job um, and then I also at the same time so I did like I worked at Morrison's as well so I did like 20 hours a week of part-time work whilst I was at school throughout like the whole of school and sixth form and uni and everything but yeah I'm just taking my to the Morrisons that I worked at. Are you excited? I'm absolutely buzzing. And the funny thing is, Matt used to work at Morrisons as well, but not this one, the one in his hometown. I did, yeah. How cute is that? Yeah. If you guys have ever worked in a supermarket, you will know it's good to get your hands dirty. I worked on the salad bar, right? I'm going to take Matt for a tour. What, to the salad bar? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you need a salad. You want some dinner, don't you? Matt's mum's birthday, and he only buys his mum nasty cards. So one, so one that basically yeah, say she's cool. really old. Is this when you? When did I go into this room? How am I? How am I? Who am I? Where are my false teeth? It's a toss between that one and. Everyone gets to be young once. Your turn's over. We are back now. I am in comfy clothes. Funnily enough, we watched a film last night all about the owner of Facebook, and he went to Harvard. And this is my McGill jumper from when I went to McGill, wearing some little. I don't know if you can see them, slippers, um, with gingerbread men on. Matt says they're like elf shoes, they're so cute. Um, my mum got me them, and this big cardigan, because it's really cold, it's definitely autumn. Just come on to say, we're just having a little takeaway. We've got pizzas, chips, everything, and then I'm gonna love you guys and leave you, because this vlog has been exceptionally long, so thank you so much for watching. My next vlog will be a Barcelona vlog, because I am currently in Barcelona as this goes live, so head over to my Instagram, at mshellx, for all the Barcelona spam. Love you guys lots and lots, and can't wait to read your comments. Bye!